is Karen Perry. I'm a mechanical engineer and I work at Hatch in our St. John's office. I work in the energy sector and I support clients in Newfoundland and Labrador in our low carbon offshore oil and gas production, as well as new energies such as green hydrogen. The biggest growth opportunities in Newfoundland and Labrador in the next few years is going to be a lot of these mega projects. We're talking about the development of Gull Island, the transmission in Labrador, retrofits and upgrades to existing utilities, as well as the potential for new energy such as wind to hydrogen. We are talking about gigawatt size projects. For example, Gull Island will be over 2,000 megawatts of energy, as well as these wind to hydrogen projects are anywhere from hundreds of megawatts to thousands of megawatts. So these are massive, massive opportunities that all are looking to come around the same time in the next five to 10 years. We have most, if not all, of the skilled trades required um, for these mega projects in the province. A lot of the skilled trades are the same as what we've used for previous mega projects. When you think of Muskrat Falls or Hibernia or Hebron or all these other large projects that have been completed in the province. However, in Canada, we're already seeing a shortage of skilled labor and that combined with the potential that these energy projects are going to be happening at the same time, we may see and come to a point where we will have a shortage of skilled labor to be able to complete these projects. There's other growth opportunities. Newfoundland and Labrador's grid is over 90% renewable. There are other industries and sectors that want to avail of this clean, secure electricity source, such as mining or different industrial sectors. And it's just so exciting to feel like you're a part of that and that you're making a difference to make Newfoundland and Labrador a better place for all of us.